What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real football fan stand up, and you're now tuned in CFO Sports. So do us a huge favor. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. And turn on that notification bell to make sure you stay updated with all Dallas Cowboys news and content. Well, before we get started tonight, fam, we definitely got to take a moment of silence and celebrate the life of Dallas Cowboy legend Marion the Barbarian Barber. Um, he lost his life yesterday, only 38 years old. But if you're a Cowboys fan and you've been around for that Dez Bryant, Tony Romo era, you know that the Barbarian was a very intricate piece of that, man. And I just love watching him play on Sundays. He was one of my favorite running backs. Always just played with toughness, tenacity, heart effort. He never really gave up, never really pouted. He wasn't a diva. He was kind of like our mini beast mode. And he always went out there and gave it 100%. And I definitely love watching him play, and, you know, especially in the Dallas Cowboys. And I know he eventually went on to play for the Chicago Bears for a little bit. But, you know, it seemed like, you know, after his NFL career, things kind of reeled off tracks. I'm not really sure what happened. Don't want to go into detail because I really don't care um, about that because, you know, people's personal life, they always go through personal situations. But it seemed like, you know, other players like Des Bryant was extremely vocal about reaching out to Marion to kind of get him the help that he needed. And I'm not sure if that was ever accomplished or not. So I don't know the ins and outs of what actually happened. But I just know a precious life was lost at a young age. And so thoughts and prayers um, with Marion Barber and his family. But on a lighter side, so we had some OTA news today. And this is something that we spoke about in a previous video. And it looks like Tyler Smith is getting some reps at left tackle. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it because like I said in the video, you know, I would like for him to get some reps at left tackle as well as guard. Now, I think that he's primarily going to be our left guard. Mike McCarthy even came out today and said he likes Tyler Smith at guard, preferably over tackle, because he gets to be violent and be vicious, and he's just violent. Now, here's where we got to understand, Cowboys Nation. It's June 2nd. Everyone, they dress like us right now. They in T-shirts, you know, they in shorts, you know what I'm saying? So how can you really judge if someone's violent or not? So I'll wait to see for myself when I get out to camp how violent he really is. But it seems like Dak Prescott is already raving about Tyler Smith. Also, Ezekiel Elliott. He kind of compared him to Andre Girard. So, you know, just that beef, that massive this is what we've been needing in our interior offensive line for quite some time. Because even though Connor Williams, who it seems like he might be playing some center in in in, in Miami, oh Connor 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 got got a new home. We want to be all brand new and be playing some center now. Are we playing center? That's what we're doing, Connor. I see what's up. Um, but it seems like you know Connor Williams gonna be playing center. But since we had Connor Williams, he never really gave us that size and tenacity. And like I've been saying, the one thing I will say about Tyler Smith knock out all the penalties and that he's young and fundamentals he's a big boy and he can move something so it's like i feel like that's going to be his achilles um i mean his strong point to start off you know initially as he starts to progress and then the other thing that's been his achilles heels is the penalties and the holding and different things like that he'll be able to learn by his technique but it sounds like from his approach Everyone likes what they see. If you watch interviews on Tyler Smith, man, he's a very sharp kid. I mean, he got it. He got what it takes. You know, big coop, big coop, you know. Um, it seems like he has all the intangibles. He's already, you know, tied to the hip of Tyron Smith and Zach Martin, so you can't go wrong being tied to the hip of two Hall of Famers. I mean, if I was a rookie on the offensive line, that's exactly what I'll do. Whatever they eat, they I eat. Wherever they sleep, they sleep. I, I'm doing exactly what they're doing. And it seems like Tyler Smith kind of has that mentality where he wants to grow. But if something was to happen to Tyron Smith, it gives us that flexibility to move Tyler Smith over to the left tackle position and plug Connor McGovern at left guard. And I know a lot of people are kind of low on Connor McGovern due to last year. But like I said, be patient because he was a right guard switched over to the left. If he has a whole offseason to train, particularly for that left guard position, he can grow because Connor McGovern is a fighter. He's not going to give up. So it gives us a lot more depth on the offensive line, which we desperately need. Some more good news. MG13 sighting, right? MG13, Michael Gallup. So he did not practice, but he was getting some training done on the sideline, on the cords. You know, if you ever watched him in training camp, they got the cords. They're doing their drills. So it looks like him and James Washington was on the sideline doing cord drills. Now, here's the fun part about that. If Michael Gallup is able to return slightly earlier than expected, 
that is going to be a major booster of offense into Dak Prescott. You know, I think that we desperately need Michael Gallup to return as soon as possible. Not rush him. Now, I want to, you want to headline with that. Don't rush him out there because, you know, Michael Gallup has had some injuries. He had the calf last year, then the ACL. You don't want to just force him out there earlier than expected. So wait till he's 100% healthy. Theory. Oh, that's my Apple Watch. Apple Watch be tripping. Um, you don't want to force Michael Gallup out there. You're going to wait till he's 100% healthy because you would hate for something to happen throughout the season where he's going to have to, you know, sit a few games or whatnot. So to see Michael Gallup out there getting some work is definitely refreshing for Cowboys fans. Also, James Washington was out there. Uh, Jalen Tolbert, I know a lot of people are wondering about Jalen Tolbert. Um, he practiced today, but he did not do any team drills. So they're slowly working him in there. Um, but nothing to be concerned. But as far as another wide receiver, what we're starting to hear about was my guy last year. And y'all know if you watch the channel, I say, you know what? I'm going to slap Pitts on the back of his jersey and tell him to go out there and make something happen. It's TJ Vasher. TJ Vasher was out there. He's getting a lot of starting reps out there with the starters, rightfully so, with two wide receivers. I mean, three wide receivers pretty much out. So he's getting a lot of looks. And it feels like TJ Vasher is starting to emerge and create a name for himself. But another name that we heard today at wide receiver, I'm not going to drink that Kool-Aid, but Tony Pollard's been playing some wide receiver. So it looks like he's been getting a lot of reps at wide receiver. I don't know, y'all. Maybe this is the season finally Tony Pollard gets to play at wide receiver, can kind of play that slot guy, be that gadget Debo Samuel. Don't hold your breath, man. Don't hold your breath, but we'll see. But it looks like they're getting a little bit creative when it comes to our wide receivers early in OTAs. On the defensive side of the ball, my guy, Osa, the wrestling bear, is back, you know, and I'm actually a huge Osa fan. Um, last year, he had a tremendous rookie season. I think it was just so overshadowed by what Micah Parsons was doing. You know, Osa really didn't get the credit, but it looks like Osa is starting to grow a little bit more. He was back on the field playing with the first team. Um, Chauncey Golston, y'all know I'm the leader. The Golston gang was out there. He got a few sacks today at camp. So, like I said, you got to take everything with a grain of salt because they're out there with just – you know, shirts and tees, you know, just working out a little bit. But it's still interesting to kind of see what the thought process with some of these players are. And here's what you got to understand. If you can start to make a jump, because every rep counts, especially for the TJ Vashers, for the Simi Fiocos, for those, those younger guys, every rep is going to be counted. And you want to try to get that head start, maybe going into Oxnard and going into camp. So, you know, you got to definitely make your moments count because, you know, sometimes – you might just get overlooked and not get the reps you need. So everything is going to benefit these wide receivers specifically, especially with this young core. And they even had Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons was returning punts and doing all sorts of stuff. So like I said, it's fun. It's workout. I don't expect to see Micah Parsons returning old punts. Y'all think I get upset about seeing CeeDee Lamb return punts. I'll come unglued if I see Micah Parsons out there returning punts. Though I think Micah probably can because the line can do a lot of things. But, you know, Micah spoke about, you know, people saying – it's year two. Now they got film on you. Now they're going to scheme for you or whatnot. And like it says, like, hey, they were doing that last year. I mean, a lot of teams were aware because you got to think about last year. You had Jamarcus Lawrence out and pretty much our only wrecking ball as far as the defensive line was in linebacker core was Micah Parsons. So the offensive coordinators were scheming towards Micah, but he says he's going to be prepared for it. He welcomes all challenges. He's not going to back down. That's what it takes to be great. So you got to love Micah's sentiment, his mentality, his attitude. You got to love the kid, man. But your boy, Jay Tuck, comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Salute to my guy, Bird Gang 31 I was on his show last night doing some more Eagles Cowboys content. We had a fun time, so definitely check him out, man. But I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and go Cowboys. Peace.